everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Pasta28. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be testing out three of Lore DIYs DIYs. Don't forget to vote for next week's video by clicking the top right corner, click the little eye, and then just select the video that you would like to see next week. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So I got my notebook right here, and I got my, my watercolors and some water, so we're gonna start off with some water here. Take that blue and put it on the top corner of our notebook here. And now before it dries, I'm gonna take a straw and I'm gonna blow on it. So, sort of something like this is what we want. <laughs> So I just finished making all of my like watermark drops on here. So now I have this piece of paper that I cut to be a circle. So I'm gonna start off by making like circles over the design here. So I'm just gonna put that there, yeah that looks good. And trace around it like this. So now I got all these lines on there and I'm just gonna fill them in with like random designs. So I just finished drawing on all the little designs and this is how it ended up. So I just did a bunch of different patterns and this is where you can be completely creative and use like whatever patterns you want. I think I give this a straight up 5 out of 5 because it's super simple to do, it looks really nice, it was fun to do, and it doesn't take up too much time. So the next DIY we're going to be trying is in her like how to survive being a girl video or something like that she did. She took like a little drawer knob, and I have one right here. What a coincidence. This is actually a phone case I got from Five Below, and I just stuck like this holographic paper inside so it's actually just clear. So I'm just gonna take this knob right now and just add some hot glue. So now we have a phone case with <laughs> a knob on it, which looks a bit weird, but it'll be easier to like hold your phone like this, and then you can like watch YouTube videos and stuff in bed. Phone up. Yeah, I say something. What? Please. What? Did you already see my hot glue tutorial? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Pasta28. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial about hot glue. So this is hot glue. It's obviously hot and glue, that's why it's called hot glue. And first of all, we have to put it in. We're just gonna do it here for example, right? And then you have to wait a while, and then to check it, you just press here and see if it's hot, okay? You might burn yourself, but it's all okay. You'll, you'll survive. So I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> hope it was useful, and I'll see you next time, goodbye. <laughs> Look, it's magically changed. Oh my. How am I holding it? You can prop it up like this and just like watch videos on either side. I'd definitely give this a 5 out of 5 as well because it literally took me like a few seconds to just slap some glue onto here and the knob onto the phone case. I don't know. I, I would definitely use this a lot. I think it's really cool and I'm like really excited about it right now. So next thing we're gonna try out is in her like desk tour, she showed like how to make a mouse pad and I want to make my own. So I don't really have a Mac, an iMac, but you do. Oh. <laughs> yes. No, actually I have. Okay, it's kind of more like the family iMac, but anyway, it doesn't have a mouse pad, so I decided I'm gonna be nice enough and make one for the whole family. And I have this piece of cork right here. I drew on a hexagon shape because that's what I want to use. I think that would look really cute. And I'm just gonna start cutting out the shape here and hope that it turns out good. Okay, so I just finished cutting out my hexagon shape from the cork board here. For the next step, what Lauren did is she took scrapbook paper and cut it in that shape and then she added like a clear foil on top and I'm not gonna do that because I just decided I'm gonna take contact paper and I cut that to the shape 
and I decided I wanted to make it like two colored, like gold and marble. I think slash hope it'll work anyway. Um, if it doesn't, I'm gonna blame it on that. And then we're just gonna start applying it to here. And now we're gonna take the gold piece. Of course you can just do this one color if you want. It really doesn't depend, you can do whatever you want. But I'm just gonna do these two colors here because I think it'll look really nice, really nice, you know? I kinda messed up right there, but let's just ignore that. Okay, so let's go downstairs and see if it works. Little puppet is coming to you. Yep. Okay, that would. Is that. <laughs> it's kind of Keep up! <laughs> Get okay. a little duck and see. Okay, so here's our map. Oh, look, they've been using this thing here. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so now I'm helping everybody out. Doesn't this look pretty though? I like it. <gasps> Look, it's working! It's working! Oh, oh, what is that? I was gonna do it really fast, it gets huge. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't realize. Because I put the two colors, the mouse kind of gets stuck here a bit, which is kind of my fault that I did that, so <laughs> it's not part of the DIY, really. I think I'd give this like a three out of five because it was really easy to do. It went, it was like really fast to do. It's just the mouse doesn't work too well. It honestly, it works better on this piece of wood here than it does on here. Yeah, it works, but like not perfectly. And also it made a big mess cutting out the cork, which I guess isn't that bad, but it's still pretty annoying. Okay, so that was it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in my next video. Goodbye. Thumbs up if you like Oreos as well, because Oreos, they're bomb.com. So would you tell me now why you would like to be, uh, why you're rather off camera? I don't know, I just know that when I'm on camera that it's using up space and then I feel like I'm like, like, it's all unright. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down.